Welcome to the Gracious Pantry menu review. Okay, so we are here at GloriasRestaurants.com. Uh, this is not a restaurant in my area. This was a restaurant that was submitted to me on Facebook by somebody who enjoys going here. Um, so I'm on their website. Again, it's GloriasRestaurants.com. Um, I clicked on their menu section here and it brought up this brunch, lunch, and dinner. So we'll start with brunch. Now, um, I'm going to kind of, since I'm not too terribly familiar with this menu, I'm just going to kind of scan through these. Um, the veggie omelet, this has spinach, onions, mushrooms, bell peppers. Um, you can, if you're, I, the cheese thing is kind of up to you. Um, but again, that's kind of a personal choice whether you include regular cheese in your eating plan or not. Um, if you do, the cheese will be fine, um, but I would skip the black beans because in um, these style restaurants, um, you never know what they really put in their black beans. And most of, the, most of these restaurants aren't going to hand you an ingredient list. So um, this should be okay, um, minus the black beans. Uh, the Mexican omelet, I would skip yeah. See, I don't know about the, the homemade chorizo. You never know what's in that, so I would tend to skip over that. Um, let's see. What's another good one? Uh, this one I would skip over probably because of the potato. Well, yeah, the ba bacon and potatoes and cheddar cheese. That's not really conducive to eating clean. Um, let's see. Chicken vino omelet. That sounds interesting. Grilled chicken jack cheese omelets. Um... You could probably do this one if you told them to go light on the cheese and skip the black beans. Um, so, the, I mean, you have quite a few options here. You just kind of have to um, talk to your server and make sure that, you know, you're getting the information you need um, about what's in everything. Um, breakfast tacos, I would skip those. Um, you're not going to get clean tortillas in a restaurant. Um, so that gives you some choices there. Um, their Mexican breakfast menu uh, or section of the menu, it looks pretty good. It's, you know, scrambled eggs with different things. Um, I would tend to, let's see, what do they have? I saw, oh, scrambled eggs with sauteed zucchini, summer squash served with refried pinto beans and guacamole salad. Um, it all sounded good till we got to write about here, served with refried beans. Um, I would skip the beans and then find out what's in the guacamole salad, um, because or you could just order regular guacamole. I'm sure they have that. Um, so you see you have quite a few options. Um, we can go back here to the, whoops, let's see, we can go back to the lunch menu. I'll take you few, through a few choices here. Um, fajitas tend to be a relatively good choice. It really depends on their seasonings, to be honest. And, you know, depending on the restaurant, you may get a straight answer. You may not if you ask the server what's in everything. Um, but if you do opt for the fajitas, just, you know, order the meat with the bell peppers and the onions, you know, the way it usually comes grilled. And then, um, ask for just plain guacamole, uh, skip the rice unless they offer brown rice and it's plain brown rice, which a lot, you know, a lot of restaurants, at least here in California, a lot of restaurants are starting to do that. So if they have the brown rice, you can go for that. Um, again, I would skip the beans because, you know, most of them in the restaurants are not uh, prepared in a clean manner. Um, you know, the grilled meats are fine, but you need to have a conversation with your server, find out if they're floured or marinated. Um, you know, some some restaurants will coat them in a seasoning flour before they ever cook them, and they're just placed on the line that way. Um, and, you know, they're ready to, to cook and they're, they're, they're ready to go. Um, they've already been floured hours before, so... Um, it's important to have that conversation and find out, you know, how their meat is treated before it's cooked. Um, now the meats and tomato base, well, you know, we don't know what's in that tomato, so I would tend to skip that section. Um, again, it depends on how in-depth you want to get with your server. Uh, salads are always a great option. 
um, let's see, oh, see here it tells you marinated uh, grilled chicken breast. So you probably want to skip that because marinating generally involves sugar, uh, refined sugar of some sort. Um, here again, the shrimp are, uh, the shrimp are marinated, uh, marinated salmon. Uh, so in this particular instance, I would probably skip the salad section. I generally um, stay away from soups. I know for most people with general healthy eating, you know, the first thing they go to is like a vegetable soup or something. But um, what most people don't realize is that most of those stocks in the restaurant, the, the soup stocks, have sugar or MSG or something in them that uh, is not conducive to the clean eating uh, way of eating. So you see you have some options here. Um, I'm just going to scroll through this real quick. Okay, so that's good. So we'll go back to dinner here. And dinner, dinner is always a little different. You can usually get a little more creative with dinner um, if you really have, you know, so a good connection with your server and they're willing to work with you. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, this one here. Let's see if I can pronounce this. Pollo con. Oh, God help me. I can't. I can't pronounce that one. But anyway, it's grilled chicken breast covered with our creamy sour cream sauce, grilled pablo peppers, sauteed mushrooms, and onions served with black beans and rice. So I would skip the sauce. Tell them not to give you the sauce. You can go ahead and have the peppers, mushrooms, and onions. Uh, skip the black beans. And then if they have brown rice, you can have that. Um, you can always have them substitute. If you skip the black beans and rice, have them substitute some steamed vegetables. Um, that's always a good way to go. Or even just a side salad with some plain oil and vinegar. Not vinaigrette, just plain oil and vinegar. And then you can add a little salt and pepper to that if you need to. Let's see what else they have here. I'm hesitant to to talk about these items here with no descriptions. It seems kind of strange not to have a description, but I guess they're pretty self-explanatory in most cases. Um, again, I would skip the soups. I would skip the enchiladas because they're usually so stuffed with with cheese and and sauces and stuff. Um, now their salad section here looks interesting. Um, this grilled chicken and shrimp salad looks really good. It's grilled chicken and shrimp. Again, ask your server how they're prepared prior to cooking. Um, romaine lettuce, jicama, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, red onions. That looks like a really good choice, providing uh, it isn't you know marinated that the meats aren't marinated or floured um, prior. Uh, you might ask if you can order them if they're floured. Usually you can ask to have, you know, have a piece of meat that hasn't been floured. Uh, sometimes they'll just have those in the back, and they're usually more than willing to grab one for you. Uh, then you can just order that with a uh, oil and vinegar, or you can bring your own dressing. Same thing with most of these here. Let's see, the grilled chicken looks good. Yeah, these salads all look pretty good. So those are... Um, Let's see, screw the strawberry mango man mandarins when in season. Okay, so this looks actually pretty good, providing these fruits are actually fresh. Uh, the honey balsamic vinaigrette I would skip and just ask for balsamic dressing and vinegar. And the quesadillas I, I wouldn't bother with. So that's pretty much it for this menu here as, they, as it's displayed on their uh, website. So I hope that was helpful. And if you eat at Gloria's, now you have a little ammunition for how to eat clean while you're there. Thanks.